Hey guys, it's Jasmine and I am back with another video. Today's video is going to cover something that I get asked quite a bit. So I am transitioning. If you are new to my channel or if this is the first video that you're watching of my channel, um, I am transitioning. I have been transitioning for 29 months now, which is so long. I'm so ready for this transition to be over. So in quite a few of my videos, I'll talk to you guys about how I don't experience any breakage, how um, I don't have issues detangling my hair, which is like one of the main reasons uh, women either decide to big chop their hair earlier than what they originally wanted to, or they end up just giving in and going back to relaxers or text laxing or whatever the case may be. So I don't know if what I'm doing is correct um like i said what works for me might not work for everybody but i figured this would be um, an awesome video to share information with you guys about or if i'm just an exception <laughs> i don't really know what the case may be but i'm gonna give you my tips anyways and i hope it can help somebody out there the same way that it's helped me so if you're interested in how to avoid breakage during your transition please continue to watch this video First thing, number one thing is make sure your hair is moisturized. One thing you don't want to do is have dry, brittle hair that is already two different textures. Because once you're transitioning, you have all your relaxed ends. And then you have your natural new growth hair that's coming in. So if both of them are dry and just has no moisture to it whatsoever you're going to experience a breakage. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You have to make sure your hair is moisturized at all times. Um, I like to use is the infamous um, S-Curl Curl Activator Moisturizer. I know it sounds weird. When you think of this product, you think of like old school Jerry Curls and all that other jazz. But I'm telling you, this moisturizer rocks. Blah, I can't even talk. But I'm telling you guys, this moisturizer is awesome. It has a new smell, so it doesn't smell like Jerry Curl. And um, you really can't smell it. Once you put it in your hair, after about five minutes, the smell that it gives just kind of disappears anyways. But this is awesome. I use it in my hair, and my youngest son has a fro. So I actually moisturize his hair with this as well. And it reacts great to both of our hair, and I absolutely love it. I'm not saying that you have to use this moisturizer, but I'm saying that it's what works for me to keep my hair as moisturized as possible. Something new that I'm adding to it is um, the ORS Hair Repair. Now, I've only been using this for about two weeks. I can't tell you if I absolutely love it or if I absolutely hate it, uh, but I'll keep you guys updated and let you know in uh, future videos how I feel about this. Moisture is key, um, and I think moisture is key regardless of what you're doing with your hair, whether you're curly, kinky, relaxed, natural, text lax, uh, locks, whatever the case may be, Moisture is always important. So in most of my videos, you'll probably hear me talk about moisturizing your hair often. <laughs> so the second thing, never comb or brush your hair when it's dry. And I'm not talking about uh, like if it doesn't have moisture in it. I'm talking about dry period, whether you air dried your hair, however you do your hair to let it dry. If it's been in a style and if it is just out and about don't comb your hair while it's dry put some kind of product in it and use a wide tooth comb never use a rat tail comb um, i like to use my dimming brush as well but most of the time i go for a wide tooth comb i see that when you put moisturizer in your hair like when i do my moisturizer in my seal or um, if i am fresh out of the shower I always comb my hair when it is damp or has some kind of product in it and it's not absolutely dry. Because if you think about it, if your hair is dry and you have tangles and you're just combing through it, you're going to get breaks and cracks and it's kind of like you're ripping and tugging out your hair. And of course, that is what leads to breakage. You can't avoid the breakage if you're constantly combing and detangling and brushing your hair on styled dry hair. Um... I've seen a few videos of people who they like to detangle their hair prior to washing it and deep conditioning it like after like a twist out or a braid out and it seems to work for them but I found that if I do that if my hair is in a braid out and I go to try to detangle it before I deep condition and shampoo and all that stuff I get major breakage so um, that is just what works for me 
and so that was my tip number two okay number three i always detangle under running water in the shower even if i'm not in the shower and i'm like over the sink or something i always have running water in my hair with like conditioner and stuff like that it just gives my hair better slip keeps my hair from tangling up more while i'm trying to detangle i hope that makes sense so what i do is i shampoo wash my hair or co-wash my hair um then I deep condition my hair and then once I rinse my deep conditioner out, most of the time I rinse it out in the shower. So while I'm rinsing my deep conditioner out, I take my shower comb and I just detangle my hair in the shower. I see that I avoid a lot of breakage um, and a lot of split ends that way and it just makes the detangling process so much easier. I literally detangle my hair in like what seems like three seconds. It's literally so easy to comb through my hair and it goes to uh, say that you also need a good con uh, a conditioner or deep conditioner and you can use whatever works for you I'm not I use so many conditioners and deep conditioners it's kind of ridiculous and I'm not going to bring them all in front of the camera to show you um so that's the only way I detangle my hair I know a lot of people um with longer hair than mine say that finger detangling works the best I haven't got to the point where I really need to finger detangle just because my hair is like so short that I can literally just like take the comb and like comb through it and then it's detangled. But I always detangle under running water. In my transition, I am not just letting my hair grow out and then cut it all at once. I have kind of been just cutting slowly over the 29 months. Most of the time, I'll do like a half an inch every month or if I am super annoyed with my hair I'll go for a full inch of that month. So what I'm doing is slowly cutting off. So what I have noticed as far as my breakage, the less split ends you have, the less breakage you'll experience. Um, so don't let those split ends, don't hold on to them. If you have split ends, frayed ends, dry, brittle ends, cut them off. It's hair, it'll grow back. And holding on to those dead ends won't do anything for you. It might make your hair up here longer, but it's definitely noticeable when someone has really bad ends. And it's not going to do anything but cause your hair to break off eventually anyways. So just get rid of those ends. And the last tip that I want to give to you guys is to try to protect your hair as much as possible. I currently have a U-part in. I, um try to keep my hair hitting away as much as possible now that i'm getting towards the end of my transition and i find that um the more natural hair i have and the less relaxed hair that i have my hair does get tangled a lot easier like i can try to rock a bun for like three days and my hair is so tangled it's kind of ridiculous so now i'm just trying to keep it put away tucked away as much as possible i would say definitely do um like twist or if you're into like braids, sew-ins, U-parts, wigs, whatever you can do to protect your hair until it is all one texture is going to work the best for you. Now, um, if you choose to flatter on your hair, that is all on you. But um, I definitely would say that heat on your transitioning hair is just going to make your transitioning go longer because most likely you will experience some heat damage. So the best thing to do is try to keep your hair protected as much as possible. You don't have to wear weaves and wigs and all that other good stuff, but just some kind of protective style that is going to keep your ends hidden away and those relaxed ends put away until you just chop them all off. So those are all of my tips. I hope that it helps and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave it below. And until the next video, I'll talk to all of you huns later. Bye.